We are not traders, we are risk managers. And one of the keys to managing risk is to know what the heck you own. And the key to that is creating a spreadsheet. I got this note, friend of mine, her son, he might be 14 years old, listens to my videos, which might be a problem with all my swearing and things. But uh, anyways, apparently he's trying to do a spreadsheet and good job. This is what I mean. He doesn't know, you know, I'm sure they're not teaching this in school. He's out there just trying to figure it out. He sent me this. So let's talk about, maybe realize, let, let's get down to the basics here. And I'm sure you maybe all use it a little bit. How do you do a spreadsheet? This is what I would do with this. Okay, so the first column here. Okay, let's make this actually. Let's make these a little bigger. So you can see it. And let's blow this up a little bit. Not too big. All right. So first column is, you know, our what we what we own. Uh, we'll call it our assets. And then here we're going to have uh, we're going to have price. And here we're going to have uh, let's call it shares or tokens how many and then here we're going to total now the other thing actually you click on this one it makes the whole line I right click insert one row above okay I want to put the date so today we're doing three one uh, two two okay so his assets he's got Solana. Now what we're doing, he's trying to, sh sh he's showing what he paid, what it's worth. This is about showing what you own right now. Showing how much you've gained over time. That's another story. Um, and actually we'll get to that. But for now, and then the other thing I like to do, let's click on this. Go up here, hit bold. Okay, so this is the top line bold. He's got Solana. He's got ETH. He's got USD. I don't know. What is this? This is ETH again. Um, so let's, you know, for fun, just to, why is that huge? Uh, da, 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 this is 10, so this should be 10. Okay, that's USD. Let's throw in here a stock. Let's say you own, um, you know, I like for conservative uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Okay, so how much Solana does he have? 2.6 how much eth does he have 0.75 how much berkshire we say we got one share how much usd does he have he's got 1500 okay oh the other thing we're going to do over here is we're going to have our percents which is very important okay so let's uh let's shrink these up just a little bit you can read this on your screen. And, uh, okay. So now you want to know price. So let's go to price. Uh, so, uh, okay. So ETH is right now 2948. Uh, you know, USD is, is just the amount of USD. Solana. God, it's not big enough. Let's, um, oops. God. Make this a little bigger so we can search. Where's the search bar? Trying to keep this moving. Oh, here it is. Solana. Is at ninety seven point two nine. Ninety seven point two nine. Berkshire Hathaway. Where's my uh Berkshire? Da, da, da. Where are you here? Three sixteen. 
Okay, now what's the total? Okay, this is where, watch closely. I click here in the total, and then I go up, and if this was straightened out more, you'd probably see it, but click on more. See this funny thing here called, a, it's a sum thing, whatever the heck it is, look at it. Click on that, till it hit sum. Now, this is where you could just put in math. You could put in five plus two, and it would, you hit total, and it'll, it'll go. But what we do is we click on price, and then shift over the eight is the star, times the number of shares, and hit enter. Boom. Gives you your math automatically. Now, this is asking to autofill because it knows what I want to do. Guess what? I'll let it do that. If it didn't, that, that didn't pop up. Now, if you click on this, check your math. See what it's showing you right here. This times that. So now, these are the totals that we have in dollars. Now, down here at the bottom, we can sum again, sum. Boom, total net worth here. Now, another thing you can do if you want to keep life clean, I, I highlighted this, and you see this button here. I'm going to hit decimal point over to the to two. So now there's no decimal points. Let's keep it clean. So the grand total, he's got $2,780. Um, now, another thing you can do, get this out of here, is click this, and we can click on this little dollar sign. Oh, look at that. It shows dollars. Again, let's get rid of the decimals. So now we see, this is, this is what he owns. Now, here's the most important point, what we have been working towards in the percent. Click here. Click the something again. Now, 253 divided by the total tells you your percent. Now it shows 0 0.09, blah, blah, blah. We don't want that. Let's click on it. And over here, click on the percent. 9.10%. Again, I'm getting rid of decimals. I want to keep it simple. And we're looking, we're not, this is not a product perfection. The price has already changed. This is just about in general, where we, where are we at today? Now we're going to do that for the next one. Sum this divided by this. Boom. Click. Percent. Decimal over, boom, click, sum, 316 divided by this, um, uh-oh, oh, the number, okay, you know what, something's wrong, but we're going to fix it, and this is where you'll see where the fun comes in. So now, oh, so is my total dollars is zero, because it didn't, it didn't do that equation. So actually, the total dollars, of course, sum is it equals that column so the do so now actually see now when i changed this from zero it automatically updated this and then it automatically updated these because these are the percent of the total and now let's get the our percent of cash 1500 divided by boom okay now let's uh fix this to turn this to the thing okay so this is his portfolio. He has 35% cash, a lot of cash. You know, maybe we're nervous about the market right here. Uh, he's 14. Maybe he's saving up for a, uh, quite a bicycle with $1,500. Yeah, you know, and listen, so that's a lot of cash. It's fine. We're in a crazy market here. Might be going down. I would be dollar cost averaging every month. You want to get your cash I advise 10 or 20% when you've got these high risk portfolios. So that means, so what would be 10% of 4,200 would be 420. So let's say up to $800, which he means he has another, he has 700 to put in. That means if he wanted to be disciplined, a hundred a month, you invest a hundred dollars a month over the next seven months, or even less 50 bucks a month, you're deploying because hopefully these are buy and holds. Now, now what? We got 52% ETH. Now let's do something else, which is these are the percents of the total. What about just crypto folio? I'll tell you what I would do. Um, let's just, so 
So uh, now you let's say we write here total crypto sum. That's these, right? So what percent of his? How is his? Now you can look at how the crypto portfolio is is done here. Sum this divided by this uh, crypto folio percent. Okay, and then again, what time is it? Oh my god, I got a meeting in five minutes. Can we do it? Boom. And then we highlight all these, do this thing with the percent again. So he's 80% ETH, which is what I love. He's got 10% Solana, Solana. And oh, I'm sorry. You know, I made up this Berkshire because now it's stock. So also, oh, I'm sorry. This is actually wrong. So total crypto, because I, I made up the Berkshire Hathaway, which is a stock. So total crypto, D3 through D5? No, D5 is a stock. So it's actually his crypto is this. His stocks is 90% ETH, 10% Solana. I like that, right? He's got 35% cash, little high. He could start buying some more, some more things, whatever it might be. Doesn't need more ETH in this portfolio. Maybe you want to get adventurous. Um, I wouldn't get more Solana. It's already 10% of your crypto portfolio. In this case here, 7% is in stocks, right? So you look at that separately. And also, I think that would be a good number. So this is, this is how you know what you have. Now, the most important part is figuring out what you want it to look like, right? So on one hand, but, but, but it is a necessary step to know where you are now, figure out where you want to go, and then don't do it all at once. Gradually, over months, you get there. Now, next month, take copy this whole thing. Uh, or actually, what I would do uh, is just go like this. Right click. Insert 10 rows above. Bingo. Then just copy it. Copy. Scroll up. Paste. And now, next month, so now, let's just say, okay... April 1, 2022. Oh, you know, uh, why does it? Oh, oh, here. So the prices are here. These things maybe haven't changed. Let's say, you know, Solana now is at 100 and, and ETH is... Actually, let, let's be negative here because I feel like things might go down. Let's say this went to 90 and ETH went to 2,500. And Berkshire Hathaway, you know, it just barely moved to 314. His, and his dollars were the same. Now you got new percentages and you look at it. And when we talk about this idea of seeing how you changed over time, now you can go back in history and look. Another thing I like to do in here, let's say in the middle of the month on 3-15-2022, you know, uh, so, uh, uh, Let's say bought, you know, 0.1 ETH with, with, uh, uh, with, uh, oh my God, with, uh, say, $300. You make that note and then you make the changes. Usually, what I have, so I do this, I create this one above. You can put some notes in here on what you bought or sold. And then you make the changes, right? So if you bought 0.1 ETH, oh, we got to go change this to 0.85. Boom. Oh, and we used 300 in cash. So now we only have 1,200 in cash. Boom. Now at the end of the month, this note's already here. You've got this one that you've been playing with. Now you put on the date. Let's update it. And then you go through and you check all your numbers. You check your math. You really should be doing this. For, I was doing it every week for a long time. Now I feel like I've settled down. I don't know. You know, now certainly more than once a month. Uh, but you got to do it. So important. And, and to this 14-year-old getting on it, good job. And by the way, this is Google Spreadsheets free. All you need is Gmail, I think. I don't even know how to find it. Uh, but look up Google Spreadsheets. I think it's free. Why not?
right? Or any spreadsheet will work, Excel. I don't think you can get Excel from Microsoft for free. And uh, that's how you keep your shit organized. All right. Let me know if you have any questions here. And remember, there should be a link for the Discord where you can message me, ask questions, give me ideas for other videos, comment below. I read the comments and respond. And subscribe so you don't miss a video. Doing one a day for a year here. Started in January. Can I do it? Better believe it.